Hello, my name is Professor Benjamin, and this is Game Design at West Virginia Wesleyan College. And this is a series of tutorials on creating your first game. And what we're going to do today is create a losing screen. Well, a game over screen. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to My Content, and we're going to create a new widget. So we say Add New, User Interface, Widget, and I think we're going to call this um, Game Over Menu. Okay, and let's just go ahead and uh, open that up. All right, so we're going to add a vertical box from our panel menu. Okay, and we want to anchor it to the center. Okay, let's kind of put it somewhere close to the center. All right, and then we're going to add a text box as a child of the vertical box. Let's, I didn't quite make it as a child. There we go, that's better. Okay, and so a couple things we're going to do is we're going to, the vertical box, we're going to center it and uh, center the text. And then, oh, with the vertical box too, right? Size to content. Well, let's change text box to game over. And we're going to give it a little padding on the bottom. Okay, so get it 50. This should be good. And um, let's make the font size a little bigger. Okay, so now we're going to add a button as a child of the vertical box. So you come up here to button and add a child there. And we're going to call that um, button uh, restart level. And we are going to change the color to, or the opacity to zero. So I don't really want to see the button. Oh, wait, we're still seeing it. Ah, uh, it's the wrong one. Here, background color. I'm going to change that to zero. Okay, we don't want to see the button. because We're going to add text to the button. So let's go ahead and drag a text to make it a child of the button. All right, and we're going to say, um, call that text block restart level. Okay, and let's make that a little bigger. All right, we're going to create another button. So as a child of the vertical box, there we go. We're going to call this uh, quit, button quit. Okay, and we are going to do the same thing. The background, we're going to make it um, zero transparency. And uh, let's give it a little padding. Say 50 again. And we really should give this button some padding, too, if we didn't. Yeah. There we go. And for the button quit, let's add some text. Make it a child. And we will call that text, the text box, um, quit game. Really should see what, how big we made restart level. That was 81. It's an odd number. Let's just make it 85. And quit game, same. 85. Five. All right, and now we're just going to add a border. So I'm going to drag in a border here, make it a, chair, a child of the whole canvas, and I'm going to make it fill the whole canvas. And I'm going to change its color down here to, let's see, here in the brush. No, that's not it. Uh, color content and opacity. New. Well, there it is. Oh, okay. And I'm going to make it slightly transparent so you can see through it. Okay. All right. And then we've got to send that border to the back. So I'm going to move it up here so it's behind those so we can click on these. And let's also just change its Z order. So this should be Z order 1. No, no. Sorry. The vertical box should be Z order 1. Yeah. And the border should be Z order zero yeah okay all right so now we've got our button the restart button you want to make sure you select it in here so you don't have the text selected you want to have the button selected and we're going to scroll down and what we're going to say is uh, on clicked we're going to click on the on that we're going to say set input mode 
to game only. And then we want to connect this to um, an open level. There you have it. And the key here is you can open this to any level that you created, but we've only created one level. So you just want to make sure that you know the name of your level. And so I can look up here and see it's JB Game Level 1. And so you just have to have that right typed in there right. So JB Game Level 1. And so whatever yours says up here, that's the level you're working on. Okay, so that has to be correct for this to work. And then we need to get a player controller, as always. And we're going to connect that to the player controller. Let's do the quit button. All right, so let's go back to designer and click on the quit button. And we're going to scroll down here once again. Um, no, we're not. Oh, see, I selected the text. You have to select the button. All right, we're going to scroll down. And once again, we want to do on quit. And we're just going to say quit game. All right, so now we just need to do uh, a few things in the character blueprint. So let's go ahead and compile and save this. Close that out. And go to our third person character. Command X, or Control X, Command, Control V. So we're going to drag out from there and say promote to variable. And we're going to call this um, my HUD reference. Like so. Excellent. And there we have it. And now we're going, all right, and so from there, then we're going to add that to viewport, create another widget. So we'll say create widget. And this one, we're going to link to our game over menu, like so. And then um, we just need to set that to the game over, where we'll create a reference. So we're going to drag out of here and say promote to variable. And this is our we call this game over menu reference. So that's all we need there. Now we're going to come down here to the event game over and we're going to get rid of the quick game. Okay, and we are going to say drag out an execution pin, uncheck content sensitive, and type in remove from parent. There it is. And then we're going to need a HUD reference. We're going to get a set from my, or get, pardon me, my HUD reference. There we are. And then we need to add this to viewport. Mm -hmm. And then we need to uh, get a game over menu reference. Let's get a get for that. Okay, like so. And then we need to set input. The UI only. All right. And uh, what this does is um, it just prevents the player from playing um, because you have the game over. Me. Okay, and then we need to get a get get uh, get player controller as always. Let's put that right there, and we're going to link that up to the player controller. Show mouse cursor, uh, otherwise we won't be able to see it. Okay, so we're going to just drag that right out of here and type in. Show mouse cursor, and I think we want it. We want to get a set. There we have it, and then we're going to connect our return value to the target there. And then lastly, we're just going to say uh, set game pause. So that's what's going to happen when that screen pops up. Everybody, you know, there's probably something I'm forgetting. Let's try to compile and save that, and. Let's hit play. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to die. And I'll do that by falling in here. Oh, no, why do I keep falling? Um, and uh, I'm going to, oh, I, but my cursor is not showing up. That's not supposed to happen. So if I move over here to restart level, and I'll restart. Excellent, and I can play again. Try again, and of course I don't know why my cursor's not showing up, but I can quit game, and that just takes me back here. All right, cool. So we have a a 
losing screen or a game over screen that works. And next time we will do a win screen and then uh, we'll be ready to publish our game and make it play on whatever system we choose. All right, so thanks for joining me and I'll see you then.